guys want to see how I make this dish and want to watch me make this dish, then let's go ahead and continue this video. Okay, guys, I just want to put out a little disclaimer that while filming this video, I was like in the public eye and Shimantre was watching me. So that's why I look so uncomfortable. And also, I want to say that, like, excuse my hair because it's not looking good and I just didn't do my best in this intro and stuff. But the video is good. So just keep watching. I like to cook a lot. Just go add me on Snapchat and y'all can see like how much I try to cook and how much I like cooking and I also bake. So this is just a little behind the scenes into what I'm actually doing today. And I'm actually gonna be sharing this recipe. As you're gonna see in this video, I don't really go by like measurements or anything. So kind of follow along. I will list the ingredients so you guys can follow along because it's kind of no point in me trying to say one cup of this, one cup of that, because I don't do that. If y'all wanna see how I make this lovely dish, just keep on watching this video. I don't even know what to say first. I'm gonna show y'all the ingredients first and then we'll get into it. First we have tortellini, tomato paste, Parmesan cheese, spinach, basil, and some heavy cream. Oh, and the chicken, but it's defrosting right now. I did get some rolls and some cinnamon sugar butter because I'm addicted to Texas Roadhouse rolls, but I'm taking the alternate route and just trying to save money and live better. So I'm gonna try that and see how it comes out. Just a little extra addition to the pasta. I've never cooked tortellini noodles. I like my noodles to be like on the softer side. So like, I just don't want like the cheese to bust out of it because these have cheese in it. So we're just gonna see how it come out. The cheese just come out and just do. They don't want you to get this open. These actually smell kind of good. Okay, these look like little, I don't even know how to describe them. Little popcorns. So I'm going to fill this up with water and I'm going to put it on the stove. I just want to say that I also add salt in my pasta water. It's just so awkward because you're right there. To me, it gives more flavor, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. For the chicken, I also got chicken breast. I'm going to have to work with it, so I'm going to work with it off camera to try to get it sliced and diced up nice and pretty. Okay guys, so I fixed the chicken and it looks good. Okay, so I usually use olive oil when I'm about to season my chicken, but I only have vegetable oil. So we just gonna put a little bit of that in there. Okay guys, so while the noodles were boiling, I went ahead and seasoned the chicken. These are the seasons that I use. You can season the chicken however you want to. This is what I use. And I did go ahead and try this Nashville hot chicken, but you really don't have to do that. I just like my food spicy. After I seasoned this side, I did flip them over and season the other side. And I also want to say that I will put the seasons in the description so you don't really have to follow along. After this, I did go back and give my noodles a quick stir. Now let's cook the chicken. I did use vegetable oil, but I do like to use olive oil like I said in the beginning. But y'all, look how perfectly seasoned this chicken is. That's how you want your chicken to look. While the chicken was cooking, I did cut an onion and a garlic. I forgot to show this in the beginning of the video, but y'all need an onion and a garlic if y'all want y'all sauce to taste like something for real. Now I'm going to go ahead and flip the chicken. Y'all see me struggling at the beginning, but that's okay. But look how golden brown this chicken is. Man, y'all can see that grilled look. I already know this is gonna be so good. So next we're gonna go into my favorite part, which is the sauce. And let's get into it. For the sauce, you want to start off in that same pan with some butter. That is essential to flavor also. And y'all can see I'm putting the onions and the garlic in there. And I'm going to saute it for a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with the tomato paste. So you do want the tomato paste to cook down before you add in the heavy cream. Because it does take a while to even incorporate the tomato paste and the heavy cream together. Mixing the tomato paste and the heavy cream does take a minute. But just keep adding the heavy cream a little bit at a time like I did and it should all come together. Also, you might want to add some pasta water if you like your sauce on the thinner side. I did because I didn't want it to be too thick. After everything is all mixed in, you want to go ahead and add in the basil. 
and then you can add in spinach you really don't have to add in spinach if you don't want to i just did it for a nice healthy vibe also basil is essential to this sauce i love basil it tastes so good to me and it's uh it's just and a so nice now flavor I'm going back in season my sauce because we need flavor over here we don't play like that the main things you need for this sauce is crushed red pepper this is actually like gonna give it flavor and spice and one last ingredient for the sauce this is a game changer right here put parmesan cheese in all your alfredo sauce it's gonna go crazy every time that was a i liked it in. Ooh, y'all, don't that look good. Okay, I'm done with the sauce. Most people put their noodles in the sauce, but I'm gonna put my sauce in the noodles because it's just easier for me. Y'all, this smells so good. So I'm gonna get the plate in ready. I'm gonna get everything ready so y'all can see. Okay, guys, so here is the food. Look, I'm all about presentation, and this is presentation for real. So, we're just going to go ahead and try it. Yeah. Mmm. Make this for your mama for real. I wanted to wait till I got back in the dorm, but it don't look like I am. I'm most definitely making this for the family. That's so good. Like, no cap. It's as good as it looks. Okay guys, so that is the end of this video. And if you guys actually enjoyed my cook with me video, go ahead and give this video a like and comment and subscribe. And if you wanna see any more recipes or see me cook or bake anything else, go ahead and say that. If you try this recipe, let me know how much you like it. It's actually a popular sauce on TikTok. So you've probably seen it before. I just kinda of added a little bit of my own spin to it, but it's so good. I can't even say that enough. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you tune in for my next video. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at kdevon and add me on Snapchat. See you guys in my next video.